cannot keep it to myself God been too good to me This is no secret I cannot keep it to myself God been too good to me Hey guys, thank you for stopping by my channel. I am showing you guys my dewy makeup look. We are starting with aloe vera gel, my one and only vitamin E cream, and some sunscreen, Hawaiian Tropic. I'm getting ready to go to the Jalal Fest. I'm running a little late, but that's none of your business, okay? So like a good Samaritan, I am combing, brushing out my brows. Good job, good job. Now we are moving on to a new product I discovered, which is kind of like a, <laughs> I'm giving tribute to the brow brush, but okay, the product I just picked up now is the new ink brow filler I have been experimenting with. It's supposed to mirror like microblading strokes this video is mad old to be honest i recorded this over the summer yes i am coming back months later with this voiceover i would say after months of getting used to this product i will say it works best when you use less kind of give the ink time to soak into your skin uh, i think at this time i was over using the product which gave me a very thick eyebrow look which is fine for the time but right now with the direction of eyebrows going back to like the 90s thin uh we we can't continue that we can't be out here looking crazy so yeah just filling in my eyebrows let's fast forward next i am doing lip liner lately i've been enjoying lining my lips early on in my makeup routine if you're hearing a ton of background noise, it is raining right now while I'm doing this voiceover, so apologies. But yeah, I've been enjoying just um, lining my lips and then doing the other stuff and then coming back with whatever lipstick I choose to do after. Sometimes I just go with lip liner and sometimes, yes, I'll go back at the end with a lipstick. My lips are very stubborn, meaning that it doesn't really like to take to color. I'm kind of jealous of my little sister. She, she'll do her makeup one way and try and do it on my lips, and it is completely different. Um, I feel like I need a darker shade for it to really show um, on my lips the way I want, and that's okay. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. It's not bad. I like it better in the summer. I find it drying now that it's winter time. But speaking of primer, guys, that's one way. If you have um, stubborn lips that don't take to color, put primer on your lips. The same way it makes your makeup pop, it will help for the color to show more boldly. Um, there are other factors too. I think I might have had chapstick on my lips. Um, you definitely don't want greasiness going on when you're trying to go for a matte look but okay speaking of the primer that i'm actually applying to my face i'm just hitting all the key areas where i believe my concealer is gonna hit i don't think i had tinted moisturizer on for this look i can't remember <laughs> we will find out but yeah just lightly putting it on all the areas where i want the color to pop all right, so it's coming back to me. I definitely just wore concealer for this easy peasy summer look. And yeah, I'm using my one and only NARS and ELF. At the time, I really was an ELF fan. Just mixing those two and going about my business. A lot has happened to my skin since I last recorded this video. I won't go in detail. Maybe I'll do a whole separate video on it one day, but your girl was in the hospital and due to all the trauma and medication I was on, even post-discharge, it has left a ton of hyperpigmentation on my skin. And so it's just interesting looking back, seeing like what I could get away with back then. Mm, not so much these days. Um, yeah, I'm kind of over elf. It's just not a high quality product when your skin is going through a lot it 
it does not help if you're struggling with hyperpigmentation and lately I've been finding it leaves more creasing on my skin but whatever it was doing at this time it was it was getting the job done as far as an easy peasy quick uh, look to go to the airport uh, baby shower in this case going to jollof fest is what I like about it or liked about it well what I won't knock about it is that it brings a lot of color it brings a lot of vibrant color to your face and you just need a little bit hopefully up yeah just a little dot right here and there and then I think later you'll see I put it on my key areas my makeup routine has changed like now I do everything at once but I guess now I'm gonna stop blend this out with my hands I didn't have a brush at this time well actually let me just see what I'm doing next okay I'm going back with the NARS for the main areas of my face and then I'll probably pick back up the elf for only the areas I want to highlight Gotta get the neck so everything matches. I was really insecure about my lap lines at one point in my life, but now I don't care. It means that I'm living a grateful life. Doesn't always mean my life is perfect, but I always knew if I age with OD lap lines, it means I lived well and God was good to me. Yeah, I just put a little bit because this e.l.f. is very potent. It's the, it's a really nice olive co color, but clearly I, I can't use this anymore with the recent changes in my skin. Hey. There's something about blending with your hands that's just so safe. I now have upgraded to using a beauty brush, not blender. I will never be a blender girl. It jacks up the consistency of my makeup. Like I will look crazier, but when in doubt, if you're not skilled with using a beauty blender, haven't invested in a brush yet, your hands are, are never a bad look. A lot of people ask me how I get my smooth like skin makeup look I'm showing you all the tea right here baby okay I might speed it up but yeah I'm just blending all right we are all blended out loving the look loving the look like I was really on one this day because here I am going back with more eyebrow filling well, as much as I love this product, it can be very deceiving because a few strokes you think you're not pigmenting your eyebrows that deeply, but it's later after it sets in, you're like, whoa. And if I remember correctly, my eyebrows were very, very thick this day. You guys can be the judge. What's going on? Oh, interesting. I'm just now getting to putting concealer under my eyebrows. I definitely trust NARS under my eyebrows and not like e.l.f. It's too pigmented, would be very orange and unnatural. Um, one tip I learned from my sister is you don't need to go as highlighted as you think for under your eyebrows. I think back in the day was a big thing like highlight under your eyebrows. Still put highlighter there, but you don't need a super bright color in my opinion. Even like the top, I used to put um, concealer on the top of my eyebrows. Don't do that step anymore. But yeah, no, something was off today about my eyebrow look, but we're gonna keep pushing. Now you see NARS is the truth, it just, blends effortlessly bingo I think I had messed up the shape on accident with one of my eyebrows and so it then became a game of trying to like 
add more back in and ladies i know you know sometimes once you've gone to this step and you're adding more product it just it never really comes out the way you think when you're trying to save your brows but it's okay it doesn't look that terrible now that i'm looking back at it but let's get to the end of this video okay last footage of me trying to save my brows lipstick time i would say nyx is the perfect baby's first anything like lip liner lipstick eyeliner like it's it's a good brand for affordable experimenting not sure what you like and a lot of their products i can consistently say are very pigmented for a drugstore lip liner their lip liner is very pigmented this lipstick very pigmented with very uh, minimal effort i like their creamy matte line i have a few colors but this is probably the one i lean on the most i've nowhere arrived when it comes to lipstick but very beginner friendly yes i would say nyx is next i'm going in with some powder I do I am a fan of powder in the summertime winter not so much I, I really like to keep my dewy as much dewiness as I can maintain in the winter because my skin gets very dry but why not in the summer I love how it makes everything blend like one it truly makes your makeup look like skin my sister before I went to Greece made this amazing concoction where it's not just color pop we have blended in there Lori Mercier, I think I'm saying that. Lori, you know who I'm talking about. Lori and ColourPop mix of highlight is what I'm using. Sometimes you have to blend two products to get the best look. I think there's something better on the market now that my sister is using. So uh, TBD, I may upgrade in a few months. I like to finish my products. I try. But yeah, I'm just putting that all over where I've put concealer, where I want to stabilize and not be too shiny, I guess. Interesting. I'm putting some on my neck. I guess I'm putting it everywhere. I put makeup on YOLO. Now it is highlight and contour time. Let's see. I use the middle color for contour i was using the darker shade but it just was not it was too dark for my complexion so i haven't mastered contouring but let's see what your girl's about to do very basic i just take the sides of my nose i am very very aware that i have already a very rather my nose is on the pointier side so i, I don't do too much i don't want it to look like i had surgery but I'm even learning there's a whole art to contouring your nose, not even just to make it smaller, but to create the right shape that I want to get better at for sure. But right now I'm just doing the basics. Now I'm taking the brighter shade to go in with my highlight. Everyone's different. I really do treat highlight like put it any and everywhere uh, as to your liking, but I'm big on I think remember back in the day where everyone would put blush there i go in with highlight heavy in my cheek area and then you know the standard on my upper lip chin and at the corners of my eyebrow top of the forehead I think now I cover all of my eyebrow, but in the past, as you see here, I was only doing the corner and then I, I started to realize that looked crazy. So now I do all of my eyebrow and not just the corner. So before I went to Greece, I also invested in my first blush packet, the Saharan blush volume two uh, I really liked it in the beginning but I think I need to do more of a minimalistic approach because as you can see I sometimes am not sure what color I want to use and 
so it's really hit or miss picking one that will go with your outfit and not look like too much the worst is when you look like a doll <laughs> but yeah my sister taught me that blush doesn't really go on the cheek anymore that's outdated you really just want to swipe it up from a side angle and I try to do it like her but when I say my sister has a gift she has a gift I either like end up here where I can't really see the difference or I end up putting too much and end up looking like a doll in the end but you know what makeup is a journey you get better as you go a lot of it has to do not only with technique but your tools too this brush I'm using is Sosa now for my favorite part if you know me I love a dewy look even though we put on the powder to keep everything consistent I'm still going back to get my best glow life put that in your face your hair rose water is the truth in the summer I love how I can use oh, what you doing girl rose water and glycerin in the summer now in the winter because I try to stay away from humectants because there's no real moisture in the air I just use plain rose water in the winter but rose water glycerin in the summer is amazing and then now this is the morphe that i'm finishing with be careful sometimes too much of the water spritzes at the end can mess up your eyebrows but i think we're done here voila you know you just gotta love yourself through the process although my eyebrows look like cousins today i'm still overall happy with the dewy summer look thanks for watching